Elemental kind of surprised me. Based on the trailers and a lot of feedback a lot of people were giving, um, I thought Elemental was going to be very, very trash, and it turned out not to be. The amount of charm and emotional strain this movie has is actually very substantial. There's a lot of generational trauma that's in this movie, and I feel at this point we've seen it quite a bit, but honestly, I feel this was very welcome. On a surface level, it's a basic story about, you know, boy meets girl, girl meets boy, fucking, he was a skater boy, she said, see you later. There's other elements going on here, like classism, poverty, um, racism, I feel, and I think it's dealt with pretty well for the most part. In general, that stuff doesn't really get wrapped up. It gets wrapped up in a sort of Disney fashion to where like, nothing really happens, but you know, two people or two parties kind of talk it out and then like, I guess everything's okay now. That part wasn't really strong, but for the most part, I think it was handled pretty okay. Like, I'm not gonna like complain or anything like that. I think it was substantial enough. Not the strongest, but you know, decently there. And I feel it connects more to audiences like myself who like get sort of forced into certain placements by their family or like say, you know, um, this store or whatever like that has been handed down from generation and it's your responsibility as the younger kid to take over it, even though you want to go live your life. That shit is very annoying. It touches on those pieces very slightly. It's like a side to the main course, which is the boy meets girl story. But nothing really that's actually too strong or that will make you go like, wow, I felt that. That was a gut punch. <laughs> which, to be honest, in my honest opinion, I feel if you're not going to explore that full avenue, maybe don't touch on it that's just me but anyway getting away from the negatives the romance in the story was actually very beautiful and throughout like the whole journey like it's it's obviously still like you know a disney slash pixar sort of romance to where like they only got a allotted amount of time to tell you uh i, I love you i love you blah, blah 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 all that shit but honestly it was very charming throughout and i believed quote unquote, believed their uh, romance. This movie kind of feels like a one watch and you're kind of done, you don't need to watch it anymore. And honestly, I'm kind of fine with that. Like it doesn't, not every single movie needs to be like across the Spider-Verse to where there's a lot of replay value. It can just be a cute little movie to where like you watch it, you feel something, and then maybe you show it to your kids or you rewatch it like months later, like six, seven months later. I also do have to give kudos to the character design because at first I wasn't really sold on it, but when I saw them in motion, when I started believing more of their story, I was like, yeah, these character designs are pretty okay. This movie is gonna be a solid six out of 10 for me. It's a little bit above average because, you know, I did enjoy it, I did find charm in it, but overall, I wouldn't rewatch it or I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to everyone. It's not the strongest movie, but it did what it needed to do. I say that kind of politely because in a way it didn't really do what it was set out to do fully because, you know, all of the emotional trauma, the generational trauma, the racism, the poverty, the classism, all that shit just kind of got swept under the rug. But yeah, decent movie. Um... Go watch or don't, like there's really nothing to really gain here. It's just a charming story, that's all.